update. So I just woke up from a nap, and uh, I figured I think I've gotten. It. I think I'm figuring it out. Okay. The problem is this. This is the problem. It has to do with my ego. So I'm living in St. Lucian. I'm a happy guy, more or less. But I live. But before I was born, I lived on 16. Now, enter when you pass 13, you enter the light. So you're a light person. You live in the light. You're not a light being. I mean, I guess you are. Consider that. But guess what? If that's what you call a light being. I don't know. Anyway. I lived on 16. I come down here. And I'm on 3. That's where I can live with my brain. And my soul. In St. Lucian. Turns out. Christ. <coughs> Jesus Christ. The word Jesus Christ. In the level three, and I guess the whole thing, you become you become a Jesus Christ, then you go out and you represent Jesus Christ. That means you do as Jesus Christ. That's why you are a Jesus Christ. You pass all the lessons. I passed all the lessons. I became a Jesus Christ. I was there. Not last Christmas, the Christmas before. During, I was a Jesus Christ. I had full access to everything in Jesus Christ. But, what comes with that is, a whole box, a whole bunch of stuff. And it's not bad if you live there. If you live there and you didn't live in reality, and have to deal with St. Lucian, Okay, if I was a Jesus Christ in, in my body and I didn't see St. Lucian, maybe I could do it. Okay, but I see St. Lucian and I live here and I'm a Jesus Christ. My brain can't deal with all that. There's a lot of stuff that goes with it. I can't live in two worlds and be a Jesus Christ at the same time, okay? It's just the way it is, man. And it's not that I'm a bad person here on earth. There's a lot of things that Jesus Christ represents and, and in that world in the Saint Lucian world where you where your, my soul is I'm just a kid I'm just playing with trains man I go do things I go to coffee shops I go I'm just a normal guy before I came Christ now that I'm a Christ I get all these tax things I get all this housing stuff I get all this everything is monitored and your whole life is organized and you, and you do good things for Christ you go help people that's what I do. I do it normally before I was a Christ. Long before I was a Christ. I was Christ doing Christ things down here on the earth. Didn't even know about the spirit world. Okay, so that said, with that said, I'm down here at level three. Level three, I'm supposed to be. Level 16, that's where I came from when I, before I was born. Okay. All the Jesus Christ are now. I'm here. I asked to be healed my skins. I needed help healing my skins. Christ comes in, heals, and takes care of you. And is supposed to carry you on with compassion and love and take care of you. And they did. Sometimes they get hard with me because I fucking go nuts. And I swear and curse. But he heals me up. Okay? Heals me up. Healed my skins up. And I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it without him. Period. I already. That's not even a question. I know that. Now, I'm healed up. I, I find a good medium where I can live dealing with my issue. They then, I'm healed up. I be I become a Christ. Then I, I can't deal. I become a priest. I can't deal with it. I become a saint. I can't deal with it. They all have their special things. But I'm all three. Whatever. Okay? Now, 
when I say, when I get, I, I've had 40, 60, Jesus Christ, separate personalities, separate Jesus Christ, that time came over nine years and took care of me. I think it was 65 so far. They got it written down somewhere. Each Christ stays with you a couple months, three to three, four months, and collects all this data in his book and gives it to Christ. The next, and he leaves, he goes home. Time for him to go. He's done his job on me. Another Christ, another personality, comes in. He does his three or four month thing and writes it all down. But he never read. He has to do what that Christ did all over again. Because he, he's too fucking stupid to read the book the other guy wrote. And they're taking care of me. And so I get to learn all this bullshit all over again. 30 Christ later, I'm still learning the same bullshit. They never read the first guy's bullshit. And so they're starting all over again like I'm a fucking 12 year old. I'm from level 16. I gotta tell them, I gotta do all this every fucking time I get a Christ. Because they're all different and they're fucking lazy and they don't fucking, unless I force them to, then they gotta do it. Now it gets deeper than that. The Christ that comes to rescue, help, is helping me, is supposed to be unconditional love, give me your lessons, take care of them, blah, blah, blah. But I, that takes away from my natural stuff. Okay? Inner light stuff. Dreaming here in reality to create my reality, my normal processes, my dreams. I can't do any of that anymore. I can't go to fucking the illusion, download the illusion, down on the lower astral and hang out with my buddies, my cousins, girls. Can't date a fucking girl because it's not in Christ. I have to stay here and say illusion, but I don't. So, and plus I got enemies down there and up here and everywhere. And they're all looking to fucking kill me. Which, watch Crazy Man and Crazy Man number 7 and 8. Now, out of all these Christ's every four months that come to me and help me, one of them, who knows which one is out there, is fucking a psycho sicko. So far, eight that I've caught comes, and he's all happy, Mr. Beautiful, Mr. Beautiful. I have to take Richard to the illusion room, to the box. The monkey cage, he sticks you in it. And he, he plays you. You think you're still at home sleeping with your family, but he's just recorded it somehow. <coughs> he's playing it back in your head. Your soul's tied down in a fucking bed in the cage. No one knows you're in there because he just abducted you and took you. Because he's crazy, he can do that. Under compassion and love and helping you. So everybody goes, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's all good. And I did it, all good. Chris saved my fucking life. End of story. Trust him, beyond the end of story. He sticks you in a cage. He puts you in another cage. And he puts you in another cage. So you're in three different fucking cages in the illusion. And he's playing with your mind. And he rapes you. In different ways, in your dreams in your mind, everything, and he's having a good time doing it. Anybody comes to ask, how's Rich doing? Oh, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're checking on his racism, we're checking on his uh, psychoanalysis of uh, this, that, and everything, and uh, everything's beautiful, everything's okay. Well, yeah, you can come see him later on, a couple days from now. Meanwhile, he's just a fucking son of a bitch. Eventually, I figure out what the fuck's going on, and I'm in the box. I wake up, I figure out what's going on, the dream breaks, I'm in a cage, and this Christ is raping the shit out of me. I know it, that's not supposed to be Christ, that's not Jesus Christ. And I fucking kick his ass, I go to war with him. For weeks, until one day, my buddy, Bone Jesus or uh, Train Jesus, that's what I call him, to give him a different personality so I can understand what all these fucking people, Christ, 
all these Jesus Christ, different personalities. But I have to give them the name so they know who the hell I'm talking about. You get it? But they get mad at you. I say train Jesus. And they're like, oh, no, not train Jesus. He said train Jesus. That's a bad thing. You're not supposed to. Anyway, they consider it an insult to Jesus if you call him train Jesus. Well, fuck, motherfucker. I don't fucking know who the fuck I'm talking about. When you got 300,000 fucking Jesus Christ taking care of you. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ did this to me. <coughs> well, we're going to do a fucking three-month investigation while I'm sucking his fucking dick. And we're going to do a three months and find out who who it was that was taking care of you. And then we're going to fucking deal with it. We'll get around to it. Here's our list of fucking things we got to take care of. And we'll get to you whenever we can. No, motherfucker. I ain't playing that. That's the problem. I don't play their fucking game. What I'm supposed to do is write a report. While he's there, while he's there manipulating my reality, I'm supposed to report it out, write a secret report, run over to my buddy, boom, Jesus, slide him, slide him the report, and act like nothing happened. Then the investigation starts. Meanwhile, I'm still getting fucking raped. Fucking raping my fucking mind, raping my ass, fucking making me suck his fucking dick. Well, I never really did. But it was against my goddamn face, and he's trying to get it in there. But anyway, just just hear me out. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. I don't play it because my mind knows that I'm supposed to rewrite, write a report, and give it to Christ and wait for the investigators to come and challenge this or do their investigation. No. In the moment, I'm being raped. I'm cutting his throat, ripping his skin off, finding his little thing inside his soul, I'm pulling it out, dumping fucking... any way I can hurt him. And that's the way I do it. Well, I'm not supposed to do it that way. Okay? Now comes two months ago, Todd. He was a Jesus Christ. Now this is a perfect fucking example. Todd, the interloper, the one I made, the video I made two, three videos ago. He comes and he's gonna take care of me. Starting off, I, I made a deal with Christ Conscious in attribution or whatever it's called, attribution where you kneel down and you talk to Christ one-on-one. -on -one. No more Christ. <coughs> I don't want no more Christ taking care of me. I can take care of myself. If I need help, I'll ask Christ for help. That was it. So, that was good. Two, three months, I was the happiest guy just living. All of a sudden, I heard his voice above me. And it's a Christ, a Jesus Christ. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm in the illusion room one day, all happy, doing my thing. And all of a sudden, my head went fucking nuts out of the blue. Lots of noise. What happened was, Todd the Impaler, or Todd the fucking interloper, he knows how to do this. He enhances the noise in your head, and you freak out with the noise. Never had a problem for months. The noise in my head was overwhelming. My head was going to explode. So I asked Christ for help. Bones didn't come. Train Jesus didn't come. I was in the illusion room. Guess who was right beside me when it happened? Oh, Jesus Christ. Todd, the interloper. He came in, nice and quiet. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, man. So I get done in the evening. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. You can go now. A month later, and all the shit he did to me, so he introduced himself by manufacturing a problem for me and then solving it. And I told the investigator that, and I just told this guy 10 minutes ago, that's what he did. Because he came to investigate why Rich is doing all this to these, and I'm telling him, well, I know this shit. I'm from fucking level 16. I've been there, done that a hundred fucking times, and here I am doing it again. I already know the fucking routine, bitch. I can do it, but I don't. <sighs> Fuck, and that's the fucking problem. And that's why they're trying to figure out my secrets. And I go, dude, dude, 
any, I've done nothing wrong to warrant a fucking secret inside myself. Nothing. 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 I, I told him, I go, dude. And he goes, we gotta find your secrets. I go, look, I'm on level 16. How do you get to level 16? Do you have to have secrets? Do you get to level 16 with secrets? And he goes, no. And I go, well, I came from level 16. He goes, on the earth, though, you could understand your thing and hear saying illusion. I go, dude, I don't give a fuck about secrets. For nine years, I gave up every fucking secret. I don't care about secrets. There is no fucking secret on this fucking earth. No scum garbage, no piece of shit I will fucking do or partake in, let alone be that person that does rotten, evil things. I ain't a fucking Hillary Clinton, okay? I ain't a fucking politician. I don't got no fucking secrets that I know of. I don't give a fuck about secrets anymore. So fuck off. They don't like me using my inner light. They don't like my ego challenging Christ. When I get a fucking dick in my face. Or any rape. Or I see kids being raped. In the illusion. Whatever it is. I'm finding fucking bad guys they can't find. I'm finding them. Takes me fucking five minutes. It ain't that fucking hard. Why? Because I got my inner light and I know what I'm doing. These crazies can't do it. They can sure as shit arrest you. <sighs> Fuck. When I catch them. Unbelievable, man. So they think I got these secrets. They think I'm a fucking Satanist. Actually, he fucking said. People are people in St. Lucian think you're a Satanist. I'm like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. Fucking Satanist? What the fuck is that? So, there it is right there. As soon as people, people in St. Lucian, I go, huh? There it is. Rich with his $25 million and all this stuff that's going on. And the people in St. Lucian. They don't like me having it. They don't like me saying stuff. They don't like it. And there, that, there lies the fucking rub right there, man. They're accusing me. They investigate. And this guy that's with me now, he's investigating. I ain't done anything to him. I swore at him a bunch. I abused him. I abused him with words. You abuse Christ. I'm like, how do I know you're a Christ? You could be here to fucking rape me. You had a goddamn loogie in my neck, in my fucking subconscious. I thought you were a fucking fucking demon. That's why I dumped fucking powder on your head. <coughs> I don't I, My brain, you know, I'm not there. I don't live there. I only got half access to all the shit that goes on there. So anybody can come and fuck with me. If I, if Christ was actually eight, eight are in jail for a long, long time. One's on a fucking mountain board like a fucking cold fish stuck on a goddamn board being juiced by freezer fluid so he can't walk around and go in the illusion or do anything he's totally in a coma because they don't know what to do with him because he was Jesus Christ that went fucking nuts <sighs> and you know what nobody I'm challenging the uh, higher ups, and whatever, St. Lucian, they don't like it. I, I challenge Christ with his own shit. I gave up my innocence, gave Christ my innocence, my mind, my body, my soul, every goddamn... I'm like, if I have a fucking secret information in my DNA from my extraterrestrial fucking evil invaders of whatever... It's yours. I don't give a fuck. I don't fucking care. I want to make fucking trains. That's it. And I want to go to the illusion, see my friends. I can take care of myself. I want to go meet girls. Whatever. Go have a coffee. Not be locked down in your fucking cage all night. I want to dream my own goddamn dreams. All of those. I want to do my own thing. No, 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 no. Not for you, because you go violent. Well, I defend myself. No, you went violent against Christ. Well, how am I supposed to know 
that Todd was a good Christ or a bad Christ when Todd's accusing my fucking seeds and accuse, threatening to take them. That's a fucking violation against God. 22 lifetimes to get one fucking seed. Okay? You don't fucking, fucking threaten my fucking seeds. And I never assaulted Todd once because I knew the jig was up because I knew he was fucking playing me. So I never assaulted him, but I sure ripped his, ripped him a new one from my mouth. But anyway, this is what's going on, and this is why they're investigating me. And they're digging deeper and deeper and deeper down the hole of my subconscious to try to find a fucking secret. Oh, why? Yeah, I've been abused. Fucking real bad shit, man. But guess what? I ain't, I ain't not a Jesus Christ doing anything wrong. But you fucking do something to me or someone innocent, that's fucking it. You're swallowing a fucking hand grenade and I'm going to kick your fucking balls to your eyes. And knock your fucking teeth out. So, <laughs> that's the way it is. And you could be a Christ. I ain't writing no fucking report in the moment when you're raping me and my mind's there and I'm seeing it. Oh, that's it. That's fucking it. And that's what they don't like. I'm abusing Christ. Because I know I'm being fucking jacked by their little investigation. But they don't tell me it's an investigation. Todd was doing the same thing. But he was there to set he was sent to he was sent from the university to do a project. His his project. We don't know if it was his. Somebody's fucking project. But he was a dude project got me on whatever. To find out whatever. And uh, that's the way it goes. And that's where I am. With this guy digging in my subconscious. That's it. That's why it's happening, man. And I know I'm solid. I don't have no secrets, man. If I'm getting raped in a box in a monkey cage, and that's why they put me in the monkey cage, because they want me to react. Well, I reacted. I called him every name in the book. But he never raped me. He never did nothing. So I didn't destroy him. I didn't fucking put him in a hospital. And I would have. I would have. He's got two seeds. I got 14. And I know what the fuck how to fight. He don't. And, you know, I'll give him that. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not out to get him. But how do I know he's a Jesus Christ? A month later. After he's been doing all this. And I'm sick of him. people doing it. Todd the Impeller does it. That Christ did it, that Christ did it, that Christ did it, that Christ did it, same goddamn thing. And I'm sick of level one racist dreams. I'm sick of that. So I get upset. Because I was getting upset and all this is happening, he came down to find out what the fuck's going on. And that's what I learned today. And that's what the last video was about. And that's what this video is about. And that's what's going on. So I don't know what's going to happen. I asked... And they got, they got, what's his name there? What the fuck is his name? The, the, the guy that, Ringo Starr, he's gone. He's got all the information and he gone. They ain't telling me what he got. They ain't telling me who, what, when, where, why. It's all secret. They say you'll find out tomorrow. They just say, and they say things just to shut you up. You don't really get to know shit. And then when they tell it to you, you got 15 fucking people screaming, you can't hear anything anyway. So this will fucking matter. Man, you guys really want to talk to the dead? You really? This is what happens to you. Oh, guys. Just thought of, you know, this is what it is. I challenge Christ. I abuse him with words. Or I abuse him if he's abusing me in self-defense. Own Jesus and Jesus and the other Jesus they're both Jesus Christ they work with me they told me you fucking defend yourself and you fucking stand you're not guilty of anything in the moment you defend yourself down here you do that everywhere I don't care who you are and what you are if someone's beating you up raving you you fucking defend yourself and they went through it with me and they know and they told me and I think that reason they told me that is because this day came and this Christ is saying, you can't do that. Well, fucking hang me, send me to hell. And it ain't gonna happen, because I got 200 fucking friends in the light 
Go, oh yeah? Oh, oh, oh yeah? Oh, 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 okay. Rich defends himself and he's he's the bad guy? Oh, oh. I wish they'd do something. A little faster than they're doing. So this is what goes on. It's a big mosh pit, man. It's a big mosh pit. Just the same. Okay, later, guys. I don't want to make another long video. But... I guess I am. Anyway, this is what goes on. Just keep your brain closed. Keep your brain out of the spirit world. Tell your, if you're with Christ, just hang, man. Do your thing. It's all good. You're unconscious. Your best, your best defense in your whole life is being unaware of what's going on below your nose. If you want to know what's going on below your nose, you talk to your soul, you talk to your inner light. That's it. Nothing out there. Nothing in St. Lucian. Nothing what I'm telling you all the time. You stay the fuck out of it. But if you're in it, good luck. God damn. Get with, get with a good craze and make fucking friends with them. This is the maneuvering I got to do. All goddamn day, every day, every night. Drives me fucking batshit crazy. I can't even go do what I want. I go to sleep, I got a fucking, 10 fucking guys ripping my goddamn brains apart, giving me fucking dreams. I can't even go have a fucking normal dream. I had, I had a normal dream after a whole week of being brain locked down in this fucking monkey cage. I had one dream and it was fucking great. And, I, and, and it was all a mockery. My soul made a mockery of what they're doing to me. See what happens when Richard has his own dream? This is what happens. You know what happened? I was in the dream. I was, I had a hose and I was in a hospital. I was hosing down a ATST from Star Wars. You know, I'm walking things that shoot. Well, this thing was trying to get me in the hospital and I'm hosing it down with a fire hose. And then the police came, a SWAT car came, two buses were in the parking lot. One charter bus, like a like a Greyhound bus, another school bus. People were running away. This at 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 this ATST is shooting me, shooting me, and I'm hosing it down. <laughs> and a SWAT car pulls up. All these SWAT guys are sitting in there, driving around, looking. They're just driving around, and cop cars, two or three cop cars, showed up, and that was my dream. Guess what? I woke up. Christ that's investigating me and gave me this one little night off from the fucking fucking soy boy box. Guess what? I woke up. I went right to the illusion room, picked up the two buses, gave them to Christ, bone Christ, or train Jesus, or bone Jesus, gave them, they're in the illusion room, going to be used for what I'm creating in the illusion room. I asked this Jesus Christ to help me pick up the ATST because it's two stories high. Help me pick it up. I put it in the illusion room. They're gonna they're gonna make it real and put it in the front lawn for advertisement. I then I need police. I need I need police guns, police shotguns, police handguns, police uniforms, riot police. The SWAT. I grabbed the SWAT, looked inside, 60 different guns and frag grenades, tear gas, smoke grenades, riot shotguns, fucking HKs, like 60 guns, 60 different kinds of guns, and eight police uniforms, which the people that paid 200 bucks to go into the illusion room used to go in there and shoot the fucking raiders. I gave it to him. He's going to use the car and put it in the police station in the illusion room. He's going to take all the guns, all the gear, and make real guns and gear out of it. And clothing. And all the, you know, the doggles, the guns, and the fucking pads, and the little badges, and all the shit. The people, people paid 200 bucks. They put that on to go in there so that when the bullets hit them, they don't get killed. Or they don't get shot. So I gave him that. That was a big fuck you to this guy. 
right? Just my soul, just my way, my soul of saying, fuck you, you know? And it was beautiful. I knew it in the moment. And I told him, I go, look, boy, I can sure get a lot done when I can dream for my fucking self and I'm not in a monkey cage. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, yeah, nine fucking years, bitch. This is what I'm telling this guy that's taking care of me. I'm <coughs> doing the fucking secrets scam. And then I gave him the at-at, the two buses, the uh, two police cars with shotguns, computers, all that fucking police shit they got in there. It all there. It all works. Because I dreamt it from my subconscious. I've been in a police car and seen it all. I can know how it works. I give it to Christ. Whatever don't work, he makes it work. And now he's got two squad cars for the illusion room. And all this cool shit. And he, this is what I do. I supply the, when I have a fucking real dream, I can give, train, train Jesus, which is my buddy who runs the illusion room, all the fucking gear I get from the dream. And I just handed it to him. So I got a two story at, at sitting in the fucking front, well it's gonna be, it ain't there, I just two days ago. They're making it up, and it's gonna be a fucking icon in St. Illusion on the lawn of our fucking illusion room. Welcome to the illusion room. We're big fucking at at standing there. Or ATST. Not at ats are just way too big. You can't make them. I mean, I suppose I can make a little one and make it big. But it was ATST <laughs> from Star Wars. It's awesome, man. <laughs> and this guy's like all pissed off because he knows he's taking my fucking dreams and he's taking my fucking life by his stupid fucking investigation, which they've already done 400 fucking times in nine fucking years. But he's still not fucking satisfied because fucking Todd the interloper. Oh, god damn. It drives me nuts. That's my fucking problem, guys. That's it in a nutshell. And that's why he's here doing it. Doing what he's doing. Later.